Hello, hey, hi, howdy, how are you, how you doing? User local here, and welcome to slackstuff.com. This is Coffee in the Command Line, and this is Command Line Basics. Today we're going to do navigation. Navigating the Linux file system at the command line. Uh, when you open your terminal in Linux, you automatically start out in your home directory, which is in my case, like home, like user local. And you can see that there in my nice little customized line. One of the most frequently used commands we'll start with right away is the clear command. And it gives you the ability to clear your command line to a nice clean working surface. Uh, like I said we started out in home user local and in order if you don't have your command line set up like mine is then it's as simple as using the PWD command or print working directory to let you know where you are in the Linux file system and we are at home user local now there is a shortcut in Linux to the home directory and it's the tilde character as you see there the tilde character will take you immediately to the home directory if you use the CD command followed by the tilde character now what I'm going to do is I'm going to CD to the root directory CD is change directory and this is how we change directories and move around in the Linux command line it is as simple as using CD and the path to directory that you want to move to so if I wanted to move from here to user source Linux or user source then there we are and if we use the PWD command to see where we're at we are located at user source now let's say I wasn't really sure where I was at in the Linux command line and I wanted to move back to my home directory then I could use the CD command with the shortcut to take me immediately to home user local which is your home base directory the, like I said PWD is print working directory lets you know where you're at and as I said before using the clear command we can get a nice clean terminal so we have PWD to let you know where you're at and CD to take you to and from now if you'd like to list the contents of your directory and see what's there you have the LS command and as you can see I have a bunch of gobbledygook in my home directory using the LS command that's simply LS now if you'd like to see a little more detailed information of what's in a particular directory you can use the ls command with the a switch which is a hyphen a always put a space between the switches and the commands ls minus a shows everything including what is called dot files dot files in Linux are hidden files or hidden directories you can create one just by putting a dot in front of it but we'll touch base on that a little later with file manipulation um, so using the clear command uh, we used ls with the a switch to show everything including hidden files there's another switch that is very useful to the ls command ls with the L which means long format it gives you the long format of the directories uh, which shows your file permissions and it lets you know whether the particular 
um, item is a directory with the D at the beginning. Um, it lets you know who owns the file and what group it is a part of. It also lets you know some basic information on size, um, when it was last modified or when it was last created, and of course the file name. Using the clear command again, and you can combine these two and get not only the long listing, but the long listing of hidden files that may be there. Using the scroll wheel on the mouse, I can scroll back through the list to see all of my hidden files and directories and all of the regular files and directories without the dots and of course the permissions, um, the file owner and the group ownership of the file. So we have changed directories today and we have printed the working directory to let us know where we are. We have changed directories with a shortcut and printed working directory to see where we are and we have listed the contents of the directory we have listed the contents in long format and we have listed the contents including hidden files. We have also combined those two to list the contents in long format including the hidden files and we have also learned that we can scroll using the wheel, mount, wheel on the mouse to see the entire list. Well, that is the basics of navigation through the Linux file system. It's, simply, it's as simple as PWD to list where you are, CD to change directories to another location, and the ls command to show, and of course we have learned the wonderful clear command. Um, thank you for visiting slackstuff.com. Thank you for watching the videos and watch out for quite a few more command line basics here at copying a command line on slackstuff.com.